Hello there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a filter that I first saw many years ago. I like the idea of it but up to this point I've never had a chance to take a close look at one. So I'm quite looking forward to taking a look at this particular filter and again showing it to you guys. Now this is the Furplast Blue Wave 07. I'll just give you a few facts and figures on it as well because there is different models. I may as well run through them all. So this is the 07, but we've also got a 03. That's the smallest one in the range. Suitable up to 75 litres. 05, suitable up to 150 litres. 07, suitable up to 300 litres. And 09, which is bigger again than this, suitable up to 500 litres. I will put those conversions in the video description and also in the pinned comment along with anything else you might find useful including links to the filter and whatever I happen to use in the upgrade of this filter. And this particular filter was sent to me by a guy named Chris who is a long time viewer. He's also ordered some bits of biohome and so on off me in the past. Um, thank you very much Chris. He has made a couple of little modifications or should I say repairs to this filter and he did say that there's very little in it because it's kind of like a backup filter that he's got. So with that said, let's get the camera in and I'll show you what it's about. It basically is almost like one of those back sumps that you get on modern tanks. Right, so this is the back that goes against the back of your tank or if you've got quite a wide tank against the side of your tank. There should be little clips that slide into here which will allow you to hang it over the lip of the tank because when it's full of media this thing's quite heavy so I would advise using the clips. There also should be some suckers somewhere as well. The suckers probably aren't going to hold it alone. You're going to need the clips and the suckers. A new one would have both. This area on top of here is where Chris has um, fixed it. He did drill a hole in here to take a pipe out. So we've got the lid which slides off. That space there is just for a heater, if you want to put a heater in the first section. And just like the dual, the water is drawn in the bottom and also in the top. Ultimately, that heads down the first section where you would have your heater to the bottom and then it rises up through this first section. Very similar to the dual filters. So in that section you would normally have your standard blocks of foams. Just stick that back in there because the next section is a media section. So remember water comes up our first section and then it would go down through this media section, out the bottom, up through another media section and then down to the pump. Now in this one, you'd normally fill that with rings or bags of carbon, whatever you want. If you check out the link in the video description, you'll see what does come with it from new. But in here, we just had to kind of improvise. Again, another media section, big media sections as well. You know, that is a canny weight of media in there. And I'll tell you what I've put in there in a minute. So up, down, up, and then down through this foam, which is the only thing that actually came with the filter. Coarse sponge down into the pump. Let's just stick that back in so you can see where the water pumps to, hopefully. Just lift that up, so it pumps up, right angle, another right angle, and then it comes out of this fit in here. And as you can tell, that's been repaired with a bit of super glue. Ordinarily, that fitting would rotate to allow you to fire the water, you know, left, right, down or up. Here, Chris has got it to fire up. Let's tip it to the side so you can see that there. There you go. It sticks out and as you can see, that is quite easily snapped. If you drop that, it would snap. Under ordinary use, obviously it wouldn't snap. And when you take the stuff out that comes with it, it's more or less a blank canvas. That filter has quite a big volume. As you can see, it's a fair old size. And this isn't the biggest one. Right, 
Right, so I'll just remove this foam. And then we do have a blank canvas. So I think what I'll do, I'll pull these various parts out, throw the camera so it's looking at me again, and I'll lay these things side by side so you can see exactly the order that the water will go through what we're putting in. These are our media compartments. As you can tell, they've got something in already. This is what I've added. I've managed to get 1.3 kilos, which is, I don't know, approximately three pound, just under three pound of bio gravel in each one of these. So that's 2.6 kilos for the two. That's pretty impressive. That there is as much as you can fit inside the large version of the dual filter. So they would... So they'd kind of be in the middle of the filter, those two. That is our first section. So in there, because there isn't a very big contact surface area, it's only about three inches square, we're going with one, two, three coarse sponges. I don't know whether you can see through them there, but they are the ones with the bumps on. So you've kind of got the bumps that it's hitting first and then when it gets to the next one you've got the cavities formed by the bumps against the back of the foam and again you've got the same with the next thing. So it should allow the water up through that more or less unimpeded and it will catch the heavy muck. And then after that I've just repeated that same pattern with the medium foams. and they fit quite nicely into that bottom half of this insert. And then on top of that, instead of just, you know, piling fine pads on top of there, I've gone for a combination of fine pads, the cider there, and a bag of bio gravel. It's roughly 330 grams of bio gravel in there. You might still get a bit of muck on the mesh bag, mesh bag is easy to clean just chuck it in a bucket of water give it a squeeze the vast majority of the muck won't go in the bag though you know the foams hopefully will have caught it by then and the fine pads will soak a little bit of that fine muck up so that's our mechanical a little bit of biological followed by two biological followed by a bit more biological as well in the pump chamber uh, where are we and instead of having that big block of coarse sponge above the pump, we can get another two 330 gram bags of bio gravel in the last chamber above the pump. We can also fit a couple of pieces of fine pad in this filter as well. I'll put this together and show you from the top just so you can better see where all this goes. Hopefully you're following but to be honest, don't worry if you're not. As long as you've got some sort of mechanical filtration followed by biological, if you want chemical, a little bit of chemical in the back end of it, it's fine, you don't have to use a bio gravel. I'm just showing you that because it packs the most surface area into the minimal space that we've got available. Although, the, to be honest, the space isn't that minimal. It's pretty good for an internal filter. Okay, remember, water's coming in this end and flowing through up and down to this end where it's spat back out. So that's what we've got in the way of foams for all our coarse, medium, fine, and a bag of bio gravel in the first section. Uh, which way around? Uh, that way, no, that way, that's the one. And that's quite a snug fit. Then we've got one of our media compartments. It slots into there like so and you notice there's quite a height difference here between where the water could be and where the filtration ends so that's where we're going to use our first piece of fine pad and that's just going to be put loosely over the top of there 
the water will more or less run underneath that. Now the idea behind that is just to catch any muck that managed to get up the first mechanical section and just gradually catch anything that's left there before the water heads down and then back up our next media section which is that one and down through a couple of bags of the bio gravel and again as the water comes up the actual height of your tank water might be an inch possibly two inches above this uh, compartment so you've got room for another fine pad again just loosely laid on there catch the muck as it comes up and heads down so that's it it's a bit of a beast of a filter it takes up quite a lot of space in your tank but if you're adamant that you don't want an external canister filter or a big hang on the back filter this might be a good option yeah one thing it could do with more of is intake holes i would like to see at least double that amount in fact you could probably fill that whole side with little intake slits because the water goes down through this section and then heads up through the mechanical section if you cut that in half and flip that around you would have something roughly the size of you know your average size canister filter and it holds as much as a canister filter the only thing is because you've only got like a three by three section an insert in here the contact surface area on the foams is nowhere near as much as it is in a proper canister filter so just bear that in mind you might need to get into this more regularly depending on how you set this section up so i would advise putting very coarse foams in the bottom medium you know not too many medium and a couple of fine just catch them up gradually as it comes through yeah it's about 36 centimeters wide which is what just over 14 inches wide that means it'll fit in the end of most people's decent sized tanks so if you're one of the people out there watching this who really don't want anything external this probably would be a good option there is other versions of this kind of thing available as well from other manufacturers um, this was the one I was most familiar with though and of course you've got the dual filters as an alternative as well this one will hold 3.6 kilos of media which is around about seven or eight pound of media and with that was bio gravel now we had all that in the bags and in those cartridges just so you can get uh, as much media in there as possible if you're using the bio home ultimate you might get two and a half kilos at a push maybe three kilos uh, roughly the same amount if you're using ceramic rings or something like that so 3.6 kilos that makes it suitable for a tank of round about 360 liters if it was a normally stocked tank if it was a heavily stocked tank you can halve that down to about 180 liters or thereabouts I'm actually thinking of that you will do a tank which is 180 liters that comes with a medium filter this would certainly fit in instead of the medium filter and it holds more than twice as much media as the medium filter which comes with the dual 180 litre tanks so if your dual filter broke down this would be a good replacement in fact you can probably get away with a smaller one but if you're in the UK you'll probably know that we're having problems importing and exporting to Europe because of all this Brexit nonsense so if it isn't available at the time you check out the links in the description it may be in the future I was just about to end this video and I've noticed I've made a note here so at the time when I did look for this on the internet I must have found two different versions I've got down here that the Blue Wave 07 which is this one is currently 99 euros which is more or less 99 pounds because our conversion rate is absolutely terrible um, and I must have found an 09 somewhere as well I'll look again put the links in the video description but the 09 is 91 English pounds so that's cheaper than the 07 
If I can find the sites that are selling these again, I'll put that in the video description. Um, but you might have a bit of a job finding these. It seems to be made well enough, even though the front has broken off. But under normal use, that wouldn't break off. If you can find one, might be worth checking out. I have seen them second hand as well during my investigations. Just make sure when you do get it, it comes with the clips that slide on here. I don't know whether Chris has got the clips. If he hasn't got the clips, he's probably going to have to silicon this onto the side of his tank or onto the back of his tank. The clips are a better option than silicon and on because if you ever wanted to remove it with the clips, you could just take it off. If it was silicon, you'd have to fart about with a, a little blade down here and cut it out just like you do with the dual filters. But it's a good alternative to the dual filters if you can find one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.